This is my refurbished i5 4 gig, probably 720p laptop. I'm using C tools to test for um, problems with the hard drive. So far, so good. Passing all my tests. So, I highly recommend if you buy like a new laptop or refurbish, do like a hard drive test and a RAM test at the very least to see if all the parts are working and probably also do a CPU run burn test but so far it's not glitching out or anything so um, I'm gonna run the next test and see how it goes probably take an hour or two so I highly recommend you t do hard drive test memory test and a CPU test before you when you buy new computers to make sure everything's working fine because you never know and then once you find something wrong with it you just return it and also test all your keys, the mouse, Wi-Fi, the sound, the CD. Now I'm doing mem tests to check the RAM. So I recommend two cycles to see if the RAM is good. So usually if a system doesn't work, it's probably the RAM. So I'll, I'll see how two cycles go. And yeah. So if it passes two cycles, then I got a pretty good deal on this. So I basically got Windows 10 installed and it's okay on this, but this thing shipped with Windows 7. Um, I would just stick with the Windows 7 because 10 is like whack. Because like the store didn't work. Well, I updated it for no reason. Cause I, cause I gotta get store working so I can install Windows Bash, but like, yeah. And the new Edge browser is slightly faster, and Cortana uses a lot of RAM, so I would highly recommend not updating it to stick to seven. But supposedly there's better security features on here, and Windows Ten spies more. But we will see. So I did a, like a quick update and eh, Windows 10 is not that bad. It's just the search bar is really quick. Um, I installed Open Office. What else? Um, I installed um, Chrome and I'm gonna install Node. So and hopefully I'm gonna install Bash later on when like they have Windows Terminal. It will, it's going to be really fun. So yeah.